Well, hello, fellow nerds. I am Izzy, and I am super passionate about our drawing, painting, crafting, and with all that, it has created a cosplay world that I have joined. And I would like to show you more about it, and let's head on over to my nice little cute crafting corner. <laughs> Welcome to my little crafting corner. We have all these costumes that I have worn, created, and designed. My beautiful model right here is modeling one of my most recent wigs with a beautiful Tiana-inspired tiara and my beautiful earrings. And here we have all the art that I have created over the past few months and some that is still here from a few years ago that I create and for families that are looking for gifts, um, people who are just looking for different kinds of art to put on their wall, a lot of things that I just really enjoy. I love stitch, as you see, I have one here and one here that is inspired for Halloween. And of course, you can't have art without Steven Universe and the Crystal Gems because who wouldn't want one of these on their wall? And this is actually for a friend of mine who will be coming over later today. We even have some more obscure ones that maybe some people would not recognize right away, which if you haven't recognized this yet, this is a Moana inspired painting. Um, this is Grandma Tala, that is obviously Moana's grandma. And when, spoiler, when she passes away, in the movie she becomes a stingray so this was what inspired me to paint this and i think it's really beautiful and not only do i love painting off of this um, my family is very crafty my sister's a musician my brother is also a musician and loves to draw and my parents have a lot of musical background and my dad is super handy and taught me how to do a lot of things and because of my mom, uh, she, my mom is usually the costume person at my grade school. And ever since my sister was little, we have always been involved with the musicals there, worked on the costumes, behind the scenes, all of that jazz. And since then, I've always loved to dress up as characters. This number right here has evolved ever since I was in eighth grade. And I would like to point out, I am 22 years old. So that is a long time for one outfit to travel through time. So this shirt is the oldest piece. This is the same shirt that I got in eighth grade to be a tavern wench um, in Beauty and the Beast. And in that show, I was there to pass out beer to eighth graders. So that was fun. And a lot of things that I have learned is that you don't need a lot of money or super hardcore crafty skills to create uh, fun and inspiring cosplays. For example, this one was probably the shirt and the skirt that originally came with it was maybe about $20. And over the years, I bought this corset to I bought this corset, which is $5 off a of Wish. This skirt was $10, and these cute little fairy leaves were $7. So it's, you don't really need a lot to create some fun characters, and this is what I usually wear to the Renaissance Fair with this beautiful belt over here that has everything you need when you go out. It has a little bag to hold your phone, your wallet, or you know, a pair of gloves, just in case someone tries to fight you. And if someone does try to fight you, you have your nice sword right here that they don't see coming because it is so small, but it packs a punch. And of course, you can't go to the Renaissance Fair without having a handy dandy mug. This mug was from Texas and it it has gone through a lot. It has seen many storms and many difficult days at the Renaissance Fair, but it is still brand spanking new. So this year was a big cosplaying leap for me. Back in February, 
I wanted to go to C2E2 and something completely different. I've always gone in my pirate costume or I've gone as Ariel. As you can tell, I really love my redheads. And I decided one month before the con was happening that I was going to design a ball gown. So this was a very ambitious project to do uh, within, I'm going to say less than six weeks. I made a skirt that goes underneath. I have a petticoat and all of this even has a beautiful bow in the back to complete the look. I had to create a crown for her because apparently her crown does not exist in stores and I tried looking up places that I could just buy it but said again be crafty you don't really need a lot of money I use scrap fabric extra pearls and a piece of cardboard to make this crown so because of this dress it came all of this afterwards so I decided to then go to C2E2 and if any of you anime nerds out there know Urza Scarlet. This is her Robe of Yuin outfit. And this is a three-piece outfit that I had to make completely from scratch. This, uh, Anastasia's dress, I had a pattern and something I could follow with instructions. And Urza has nothing. I tried looking up so many things to even look remotely close to her and couldn't. So this was very exciting to do. I was very proud on how it turned out. And because of just these two outfits, I was able to create all these more fun characters, original ideas, um, OC or original character ideas, such as my elf costume here, which I have named Sana. And over here, which because of me setting her up, I want to create a character off of just this little setup with the ears and the crown. And cosplay, as much as it's fun to create, it's also fun to embrace the character. So I have a lot of photos here from just little mini photo shoots that I have done just to embrace the character more and appreciate the costumes I've created. This, a lot of these are just taken on iPhone and some of them were taken with a professional photographer. And Luna over here, hi has even been in some of those photos. Since I have talked about her a lot, I would love to show off this number right here, Sana the Elf, and I will go try this on real quick and show you what it looks like on. And this is Sana the Elf. She is a woodland creature and she is a character that I made this past year for the Renaissance Fair. Uh, this entire outfit has taken me, well the shirt took me what, since 8th grade, so that's just been around. But this corset and the skirt were both bought online, very cheap, and with these little leg things that I've just recently bought, and the shoes are mine. But what is the best part of the outfit is the accessories. Now, every single time I go to the Renaissance Fair, I always make sure to get something for myself. I have this crown here on top that just honestly, I think, helps pull the entire look together and makes it look a little bit more fairy tale like And also, as you notice, Sana has a watch because I really like my Apple Watch. So, a really cool thing, instead of trying to hide it, or anything, I just bought this off of Amazon, really, really cheap, maybe not even $12, just so it's nice and leather, it kind of goes with the aesthetic, and it's a little bit of a modern piece. When you take photos, you just turn your hand slightly so you don't see the screen. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my little world over here, don't forget to subscribe to find out more about other nerdy people around this world. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my stuff specifically, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Izzy Cosplay, of course, for my cosplay work, and Izzy Paint for all of the art that I do. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. What?
Wait, can you do the accent again? What? What's the accent that you tried to use? Still two, right? Hello, mate. How you doing? Two A. You can do Give me a line of dialogue, like you're trying to give me a side quest. To be or not to be. Is the answer. I wish it was Nerd Brew. Would you like a drink, sir? Okay, or just that. Would you like a drink, sir? That's scary, actually.